Hi friends and welcome to Mel TV. Today I'll be reviewing the Art of Animation Resort located in Disney World, Florida. Now the Art of Animation Resort has a gift shop, a quick service dining restaurant in the lobby along with an arcade. There are three pools, one main pool in the middle of the hotel and two on each end. There's also two playgrounds. So I'm gonna go over the pros and cons of the hotel. Pros are, I really like that you can use the magic band to open the door. That's convenient. Secondly, uh, I always skip room service any hotel that I ever go to. So when I was checking in, the gal at the front desk asked me if I wanted to skip room service and I would get a gift card so I was like, heck yeah. So she gave me a $60 gift card. I'm not sure if that's a flat fee or if that is per night. I was there for seven nights. So I'm, anyway, I was happy about that. Pro for me. Another thing is that I really like the decor. It was just fun and neat to look at. And there's a lot of, if you just stare at things long enough, you'll see things that you didn't see before. So, um, another pro for me is that there was a lot of outlets in the suite. This hotel had been renovated not too long ago, so they added a lot of outlets. I know that you're not allowed to bring a power strip and plug it in, so this worked for me. Another thing is that there are movies under the stars every night, so you can find your schedule at the front desk for that. These movies are at the pool, the main pool. Speaking of the pool, there are three all together. The one in the middle, located by the lobby, is pretty cool, but it's it's loud and it's crowded. So, um, the ones on the two ends of the whole of the resort, they're less crowded and, and more quiet. So, we have an autistic family member, and we brought him to one of those end pools, and he loved it. He did really well and had a blast next thing is that the the another pro for me is that you can check your own luggage and get a boarding pass before you get on the magic bus the airlines that um, they service are alaska american JetBlue, southwest delta that's um for delta it's u.s domestic flights only and the last one is united airlines so the cons are that that restaurant landscape of flavors the over-the-counter restaurant in the lobby didn't have a big variety of food for dinner time and especially if you go late they start closing up the shops so there's even less to choose from and the pizza didn't taste very good so that's a con for me another con was that there was a coffee stain on my sheets and it didn't it looked like a fresh coffee stain, so it didn't look like it was washed. But the room looked clean, so I'm not sure about that. And then my aunt and uncle stayed in a little mermaid room, and they said that there was no ceiling fan, um, coffee pot, or, or mini fridge. So those were cons for them. But overall, I really liked the hotel a lot, and I definitely would go back there again. I got a military discount, so it wasn't that expensive. And furthermore, the Skyliner gondola rides will be opening up fall of 2019. So that's definitely a reason to go. There will be a second transportation option for you. I think I would give the Art of Animation two thumbs up. Uh, one thing I just forgot to mention quickly is that I heard this gal talking. And she said that her roommate... At the Little Mermaid, her Little Mermaid room was 3,000 steps from the coffee, and she wasn't happy about that. So the Little Mermaid rooms are far, and if you're coming back from a long day at the park, you might want to consider booking a room closer uh, to, to the transportation. But obviously, they're the suites, and they cost more. So the Little Mermaid rooms are reasonably priced. That's just something to keep in mind. I want to give... My Auntie Sylvia and Uncle Charlie, many thanks 
for providing me with photos for this video. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Mm-hmm.